I was about to record a video on my favorite tech pouches, subscribe to see that video when these boxes arrived. Nomadic's brand new Navigator series out on Kickstarter now. I've seen huge maturity and developments in Nomadic's products. First in the Peter McKinnon bag, now in these. They still have that sleek, techy, structured or padded look. Lots of mesh organizer pockets water sealed zips, but there's some new stuff like this material on the outside, an N500D Kodra with a PC face coating, breathable EVA foam formed back panels, contoured straps, lots of new stuff here. Now there's a whole grip of products here. The 32 liter travel backpack is the first. It expands out to 41 liters, a very capable bag, comfortable harness and straps. It's 5.2 pounds empty has lots of organization. I'm gonna walk you through everything on that in a minute. The 37 liter carry-on roller is next. This expands out to 45 liters. Features a dual-sided main compartment, nice tech panel on the front with a 17 inch laptop pocket, RFID pocket, elastic organizers, exterior handles, three stage aluminum grade handles, 7.8 pounds empty. The material of the roller wheels and handle cut into the capacity quite a bit, but it's a very solid carry-on roller. Then there's the 15 liter everyday backpack. Okay, this expands out to 20 liters. It's 2.7 pounds empty, which isn't that heavy. Nice, feels nice and light, but it has lots of organization. Very, very excited for this bag for lots of you techie folks. More details on this bag in a minute. Then there's the collapsible backpack, coming in at 0.86 pounds, very lightweight. It's a collapsible design, and I think it might be made better as a bag that just lays flat. It has less bulk, saves space in the bag, but the thing is, this is a great day bag with quick access pocket, two external mesh water bottle pockets, which are killer. The laptop slash document divider, unpadded, but it doubles as a uh, bladder hang, you know? You need to hang your bladder. Also features water resistant materials, not water resistant zips on this one. They say due to needing to save as much space as possible when this bag is collapsed. Then we have a few of the little guys. There's a six liter sling, which I hear is one of the top selling items in their Kickstarter already. It fits my iPad 11 inch Pro with the smart keyboard case and the Apple Pencil attached just fine. 11 and a half by six and a half is the max size for this pocket. With a little decent space for organization, a hidden water bottle pocket that pops out, concealed front pocket with a key loop, and it's got a molded back panel like the other ones with one strap that has a credit like a card slot for your travel stuff. Then there's a one liter sling, perfect little fanny pack size, looks like a little pill, got expandable compartment out to three liters for a water bottle or other stuff. Simple organization panel, front pocket. On these little bags, the front zipper can feel a little cumbersome and limited to get in and out of but it's ultimately a great little form factor with that expandability in the small size. Then there's the tech organizer, which has three coated mesh zipper pockets, then some elastic cord organizers, some standard nomadic stretch mesh pockets, pen sleeves, little handle on the back. Ultimately, it feels nice, feels like a very large roly poly in your hand, but it's good. It's it's like, you know, it, it, if it's the right size for you, I tend to need a little bit bigger, I think, for my daily tech items. But I don't know, I've got just about everything I need in this one as it is right here. And then finally, there's the vacuum bag, which I don't have, but it fits in both the travel bag and the carry-on bag. It helps with compressing items down. Hey, I'm Chase Reeves. I'm gonna walk you through the travel bag and the 15 liter daily carry bag. I think these are two very interesting bags. I think all this stuff's very interesting. You can see more on their Kickstarter page. You can support this channel by supporting on Patreon or by using the links below when you purchase. I think I should be able to get an affiliate link for these, though I haven't set that up yet. But that's how you can support the channel. Okay, let's get into this travel bag, which to me is extremely capable. Okay, it's got great handles all over the place. This one on the top is very foamy. It has this nice like foam, and, it, and they did a good job with this. It's actually quality. Some of their older handles, you could feel a little bit of the, you could just, the way that some of the materials would bunch up on that, it didn't feel that great. It has the seatbelt webbing and this really cushy neoprene kind of feeling underneath. And then you have more minimal handles on the sides 
and then one on the bottom as well. The external access is two zippered water bottle pockets, both with elastic gussets, both usable for water bottles or as extra external pockets. To me, this is kind of elegant and simple. Having a simple zipper for a water bottle pocket, you've got two water bottle pockets, one on either side, and because you've got the zipper top and because the sides go almost up to the top and you've got this gusseting, which opens up, that means you can use these as external access for anything, not just water bottle. It's a little bit tight, it's a little bit flat, it's a little bit cumbersome, you don't have a lot of great visibility getting into it, but when you have that particular kind of thing that you want on the go that doesn't fit well in one of these quick access pockets, you could be stoked for that. Then you have a little transport card sleeve back here, a little thing for quick access and a quick access pocket here on the top of the bag. Nice, big, visible, like big mouth that you can get in and out of. It's a fleece lined pocket. And this sort of pouch, the sack of it, goes into the bag right where all of your stuff is packed. So if it's packed really tight in there, you're gonna need to find a way to sort of orient this so you can get what you need to in here. But it's a good size. You can get your big iPhones, you can get a pair of glasses in a case, earbuds, all that kind of stuff. At 5.2 pounds, it's not like an uber lightweight bag, but it's also not heavy for this kind of technical travel bag. Peak Designs, the packed backpack, others are in the same category. So some of you who are traveling in Asia, Southeast Asia, where you're limited by weight to 15 pounds, five pounds of it is gonna be your bag. The harness system is awesome. Aluminum stays on the back panel make for great weight distribution down to the hip straps. The load lifters help pull the weight forward and up. The removable waist strap is padded and actually comfy. The EVA foam formed back panel makes for a nice cushiness and breathability. And these straps are actually quite nice. You see it especially on this daily carry bag where the straps are, are like they, they wrap around even a little bit more, but this Material on the bottom is called Spandura. It's the same material that is up against your back. It's nice and stretchy, but it's comfortable, so it won't, you know, won't wear you down even if it's on, you know, even if you're wearing a tank top, apparently. I think some of you might end up feeling a little bit of the edges of this foam as it digs into you, maybe, but I myself personally have been super impressed by this harness system. I loaded this thing up with a bunch of weights. <laughs> There's a lot of weights around this house. I loaded my weights into here and carried it around for an hour or two and it was like, Super comfortable the way that it distributes the weight down onto my hips. In the main compartment, there is 32 to 42 liters of space, okay? It looks like the Peak Design travel bag inside this bag is very similar to that. This is the same amount of space that you're getting with just about any of the bags on my carry-on travel bags list over at matterful.co. I'll put a link to all of the things that I mention in this video, time code links. So if you see something you're like, hey, what's that? Notice the time, go down in the description and I will have a link there. I will link right now to my travel bags page so you can compare this to lots of other travel bags. It's got some compression straps inside and I'd recommend going with the packing cube setup. I don't currently have my peak packing cubes because they're in boxes because my family's been moving, but peak, medium, and small packing cube would fit perfectly in here with a dop kit. I'll link to those below. And then you've got the laptop compartment here on the side, water sealed zip. 17 inch laptop can fit in here. Nice protection and padding though it is not suspended up off the bottom of the bag per se. There's just a lot of padding and those aluminum stays really keep the back strong. Then there's the front of the bag where you have this great organization panel, okay? flops down open like this, like a 25 degree angle. And you've got nomadic meshies here, okay? Easily to throw like, you know, this would be a great place for a little Tom Bin pouch or something like that. Smaller pouches, I'll link to those below. This is maybe a spot for some uh, business papers, man. And then on this side, you have two zippered pockets, okay? One of them is RFID safe. That means anything you put in here is apparently smart people who can just scan your bag and like get things, they won't be able to get it because it's in this special prop pocket. Then this other one down here, great places to just hide 
cables and shit like that. As people are walking around in the background, don't worry about it. I'm sheltering in place with my extended family. On this panel, these side things are actually pen loops as well. So nice little, nice little organization panel right on the front of the bag for, you know, you can, as you're accessing from the top, you can kind of pull the lip down a little bit, I guess, and, and get to those, those meshes up top. But one of the interesting things about this, I'll show you. So here's a nomadic tech pouch that uh, came with one of their roller luggage that they had this like tech roller luggage thing. Easily enough space for my 15 inch laptop and other stuff. This fits into here kind of nicely. And I don't know if they planned on that. It's a little, it's a little tight, but what I love about this, it's a little tight. It's like not perfect to get it if you zip it all the way down, but you don't really need to zip it all the way down to get it in. Cause what's great about this is you get to the airplane seat and you're like, oh, throw your computer and your tablet and your Bluetooth headphones and whatever else is in here on the seat. Put this in the overhead compartment because it's too big to fit underneath the seat in front of you for a vast majority of flights. I mean, maybe you can squeeze it in and if it's not if it's not like really overpacked or something, you can maybe squeeze in it, but you're not gonna like that. But having a little thing that you can throw in here like this, that would be slick. So any of those bigger organizers like this, if you wanna throw your laptop and your Bluetooth headphones or something like that in to have it all in one place where you throw it on the seat, I don't know, that, that excited me personally. Not that this was designed for that, and I think it's a little too tight, but this is actually solid. I'll link to this below for that like throw it in your bag kind of organizer. I prefer to have the weight of the laptop up against my back in this laptop compartment when I'm like walking around and traveling. But if I'm not walking very often, that might be the place where I like plan on just the quick release, you know, the quick release into the, <laughs> into the airplane seat. We're just like, huh, huh, get it going, get it up there, sick. By the way, these accessory straps, these come off. I would probably not leave these on like this. They can also go crisscross, just like on the Peak Designs bags. The, another cool thing is the, uh, where are they? The rain fly for this thing uh, is just a little pouch like this that opens up, there's a rain fly. Those accessory straps can connect to little hooks on here and they actually run down the bag through these channels here so it keeps it on and in place if you choose to really like, you know, lock into the condom. Then the final pocket here is down this little, this little front thing right here. There's a little pocket that is a concealed front pocket. And inside of there, can you see this? There's a zippered pocket in there. That's actually designed for your passport. So you can have your passport in a somewhat like hard to see, doesn't, you don't really know that that pocket's there. And then inside another zippered pocket in there. And this also has, there's a little loop at the top here, little loop that comes out of the inside of the pocket and you can put the, the zipper through there for some security. So this concealed front pocket is sort of your security pocket. By the way, these zippers, they're very excited about. They have a cable uh, and these big plastic sort of dreadlocks that you can put them through and now they're, they're, now you're safe. Now a pickpocket can't quickly get into your things. Thanks, Nomadic. So ultimately a very capable, a very uh, worthy companion for your travels. I think a lot of you are gonna, are gonna be traveling a lot of places with this and it's gonna last a long enough time. Very similar to the Peak Design Bag, same sort of organization panel, same size, one big bucket. The packed travel backpack that I helped design has two compartments, like a suitcase. I'll link to that in the description below. I think that this is gonna get a little bit dirtier faster than the Peak Design, for example, but the, the straps and back panel here is definitely a lot more cushy. The Peak Design's a little more sleek, a little more, I guess, pro in that way, but a lot of you are gonna love the cushiness. I personally do. Okay, what questions do you have on the travel bag? Ask them in the comments. Ask them in the comments and I'll answer what I can. Let's switch gears and get into the daily carry bag. But first, this episode is brought to you by coffee, that brown beverage I prefer to drink black, especially when I'm depressed. 
depressed or frustrated with society. I make coffee when I want to feel optimistic, when I want to believe in myself. It doesn't matter that the effect is limited, pour it on. And Trade Coffee makes it easy to get the beans you need. The beans you need. Why buy when you can trade? I mean, you're actually buying these coffee beans, but it's called drinktrade.com. Use the link in the description to support the channel and get a custom tailored bag of coffee delivered to you from premium local roasters across the U.S. Support the little guys. Drink trade. Link's below. That one's an affiliate link. But we're also brought to you by Chocolate. This one's not an affiliate link. I just like this company a lot. Askenazi Chocolate. This is uh, this is my favorite chocolate bar, you guys. This is the big this is the big uh, take right here. Great farm to bean chocolate bar. Link below to support independent fancy chocolate makers who are doing a good job taking care of their farms and their people. Make your life happy. Make your wife happy. Make your mouth happy. Ask a nosy chocolate. Links below. Let's get back into the show. The new everyday 15 liter backpack expands to 20 liters through a zipper that just expands the bottom sort of three quarters of the bag. Comes in at 2.7 pounds, feels nice and light, but it's still very structured, very padded, right? But they've rounded off these edges. They've rounded these bottom things. You remember the, the original one from Nomadic is totally different set of materials and it feels completely different. And I never really loved those bags. I never fell in love with them. Some of you totally did because they're so organized. Same here. But I like this approach to trying to make it feel like a soft goods product, but it's still structured. It's still padded. Everything's protected inside. And you've, they've done that by having these sort of angled panels that help us to feel like it's like it's you know like it's rounding out three grab handles the top one is not some big burly thing just nice that seat belt webbing with a little bit of padding inside it feels really good i like these handles there's three of those now the same quick access pocket up here on the top fleece lined plenty big to get stuff in it right i've got my glasses case in there i've got my car keys my airpods right everything fits nice in there and because it's fleece it's uh it feels kind of nice i don't think it'll get too gunky too quick these kinds of quick access pockets make using a bag every day so much more delightful another concealed front pocket here same thing you can actually this this pockets they go along the whole front of the bag. I've got my snacks in here. Oh God, they're falling out. Inside this one and the uh, and the travel bag as well, there's these key, these buttony key clip thingies. That's kind of nice to keep your keys out of the way, I guess. And then inside here, there's another zippered compartment. So if you want it like more of a secure spot for your, you know, your secure things. But the capacity on this is actually quite nice. That's why I threw my snacks in there. It's a great pocket for, I need this stuff, but I don't want to get to it often because I don't tend to like getting into this vertical pocket very much because the visibility is very low compared to opening up the front panel. Now there's a hidden water bottle pocket, okay? It goes into the bag. Let me pull this out here. This is a waterproof material, okay? And it seems are taped. You can see up in here, there's some taped seams and there's a drainage hole down here. They were very serious about if you're gonna put your water bottle inside your bag where all your tech is, let's make sure that it doesn't spill any water on it. My 75 milliliter Camelback Shoot, best water bottle in the world. Support the channel, spend $11 and get a great water bottle. I get three cents when you click my affiliate link to Amazon now. So, you know, thanks, <laughs> thanks for your help. You can support me on Patreon or there's like a buy me a coffee link down there for any of you who this is helpful for. But 75 milliliter Camelback Shoot fits perfectly in there. Uh, smaller water bottles will fit even better. Once you're inside the bag, you're gonna see this water bottle taking up quite a bit of space in there, right? There's your water bottle compartment. So it's a little bit of a bummer how much it takes out in here, but what you gain in the sleekness on the outside of the bag, I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'd look good in that. This back zipper here is your laptop and tablet section, okay? so it opens like it only zips down to here on this side 
right? But all the way down to here, unless it's you get a little bit of a corner action. We're doing a little peel action. And inside, you've got a solid little padded place for your laptop. And then everything on in front of that little pouch, it, that's where I put my iPad Pro 11 inch when I'm, it, cause it's all, the whole thing is suspended up off the bottom of the bag, protected really nicely, feels, feels good. By the way, this liner material, I haven't talked about this yet. This liner material is nice, okay? It's a polyester, it's a heathered polyester that, uh, that feels good. I think it's gonna put up with all your dirt and all your like spills and gunk and whatever. I think it's gonna be uh, the kind of inner liner material that's gonna work for, for a long time. I think they chose well here. It feels good in the hand. And in a lot of these bags, you're gonna see these cord pass-throughs. This gets you from your laptop compartment into your main compartment here. And I think it goes through the quick access too. Yeah, it does. It goes your quick access and the main compartment through that pass-through, which I think is kind of a, a really, like a nice little detail in this thing. Uh, shows that they're really thinking about those sorts of moments. Laptop fits a 16 inch laptop. Then the main compartment, which is right here, this is a huge part of this bag. See that gusset down there? Opens about 25 degree angle, I'd say. And it's like meant to be accessed like this. You've got a zipper up here, a zipper down here, another RFID safe pocket here. And then as you're looking at the bag like this, you've got those, those mesh pockets right there, right? Those mesh pockets are like the nomadic meshies, okay? And then you've got the actual capacity of the bag where I have their tech pouch here, okay? I didn't use any of these meshies right now. I just have everything that I, I carry so minimally these days. I just need a little pouch like that that has all my tech stuff. That's the video I was filming before these arrived. So subscribe to the channel if you're interested in finding more tech pouches because I have a bunch of them that are really, that you like need to know about. When you have a good tech pouch that really organizes, it's one thing into the bag. And then you're, you know, whenever you get to your cafe or whatever, you pull out your thing and you have all the stuff you need. Maybe your laptop charger fits in here. Maybe it's definitely where all my cords are. This thing, this thing is, is like solid to me. It really is. I don't particularly love, these are really flat. This right here is really flat. So anything I put in there is, it, but it's great for smaller things like your keys or a little tin foil full of um, questionable substances. But then these meshy pockets in the back and then there's some, some elastic guys right here. Uh, this is, it's like nice, it's useful. And it, and it does feel like, a, like all of this stuff feels very like, do you see that, that Netflix? If you have kids, hopefully you've seen that Lost in Space on Netflix. This all feels like the kind of stuff that you'd, you'd have in the, in the like, uh, you know, art department of a, of a show like that, where it's like, we're going to space, we're in the future. It's like, oh, hold on, let me get my chapstick. The back panel on this thing's really great. These straps feel good, it looks good on, it's very slim and slender and sleek and slimming. It's slimming. Little uh, luggage pass through right here for you. A great, this is like a solid, I've already had it out like in the dirt, in the, in the like, it, like, you know, I always go out, I like to do some reading and, I've been sitting out with like my little meditation pillow out in the in the field, listening to Eric Weinstein <laughs> talk to some fucking brilliant weirdo like Daniel Schmachtenberger. Again. You also have those uh, those attachments for the G hook, the accessories, which I believe two of those straps come with e with both the travel bag and this one, I believe, but I'm not quite sure. Sternum straps on both of these works really great. It's got a nice little clip and uh, some Hypalon looks like, some rubber like Hypalon type stuff. It hasn't doesn't fall off, it clicks in really you know, satisfying. You choose between which of these loops you want it to be on or you can remove it totally. It does have contoured straps, both the travel backpack and this guy do have the contoured straps, so you might not need them. I like them. You'll notice these uh, custom hardware down here works just like you'd expect it to. Uh, I personally end up like not using them very often, tying up these guys. Get yourself some elastic or uh, you know Velcro strap pulls, or just do what I do and just tie it up because you know you're still a child at heart. This little six liter sling is really fun. It's got that pop out water bottle compartment, which is which is kind of cute. Not that it like would look good when it's on you with your water bottle like flopping around, but one strap 
to rule them all. Chris D'Elia has this great, not that great of a bit in his new thing of like, he's talking shit about slings. He's like, you ever see a real man do this? Oh. <laughs> Which is good. So it's why we have clips and things like that for slings, Chris. Fanny packs are the future. But in the back of this guy, great little space. I fit my iPad Pro 11 inch with the smart case, uh, the, with, the, with the pencil right there. Throw that right in. So this is a getaway bag for me with that. That's awesome. But then there's, but wait, there's more. There's the main compartment, which opens up and you have a lot of little organization. Battery packs, all your daily, all your little items, your keys and your things go right in there. And then as well, you have that same concealed pocket right here, which is much smaller on this guy, much smaller, but you do have the same key ring. So this is the pocket where it's like, maybe it's your quick access, but I find that this is a little, my, just my earbuds probably would be perfect right in there. Then it's one strap with another accessory strap that can be tucked away inside of here. So this you can lock in when you're really getting active. You know that like Michelob Ultra lunchtime commercial, like I rollerblade to work? That's when you wanna strap that in. And you've got a little like a uh, Metro card type slot right here on another molded back panel. Great little bag, fun little handles, two handles. I don't know why we even need the two handles, but it's kind of nice. But there's no place to hide this strap if you wanted to go full, you know, purse with this thing. So you're just, you know, you've got it on. You've got all the, you've got your iPad Pro and the things that you need. It's really solid for that. This little one liter guy looks great. Nice little, little like kind of vibe to it. It's very structured. You can see these little darts that come down right here to give us this like rounded vibe and this, this is, you see how it bounces right back? It's got lots of structure in there. So getting into this pocket is, is like, it's kind of mixed message for me. This is your quick access, basically. It's like you, you really only want your glasses case and your AirPods in here or your earbuds or whatever, just to be able to reach in because you don't have very much visibility and find with your fingers. There are some elastic bits inside here, some, some nomadic meshies, but they're quite small and I don't know what wouldn't fall out of those. You'd have to have something kind of, kind of big if it wasn't, like my AirPods would easily, would just be falling out of that all day long. So I would use this for a loose spot personally. My metal zipper pole just came off of this. Looks like I gotta clamp that down a little bit. Then there's the main, sort of the bigger compartment in here. That thing right there is a pen slit. That's kind of cool. And you also have a, a cable pass through that goes to the front and then some nomadic meshies here. This is a flat pot, this is a flat pocket. So this is all your flat stuff. But then it does something that's actually really interesting for a sling. The zipper that goes down the bottom, that expands out and you have a zipper here. You have the same zipper over here. So you got a zipper inside a zipper to get into this, but that means you can, let's see if this one will work. That means you can bring like a water bottle around in your little sling. Yeah, and it fits perfect actually. So I just transformed this little one liter sling into a three liter sling. This opens up two extra liters. So you can carry something big, maybe a camera. It doesn't feel super protected, but maybe your camera you'd be fine with in there. Uh, water bottle seems to be what the design is for. Okay, there is all of the new bags that they sent me. I don't have the vacuum bag, that looks pretty good. I've used one of theirs before. I, I actually used it quite a bit at one point and then I just stopped using it. But that's nice because it compresses things down and then they stay compressed, saves you some space in your bag. But ultimately my vibe on these is they're really solid. They're really solid. You follow your heart and go with your gut when you're looking at bags and stuff like this. I think they're very technical. I think, for example, the Daily Carry feels very techy. Feels very techy and sleek. I personally, like one of my favorite bags right now is like, they're just simple bags, like the Dispatch Day Pack. American manufactured, American designed. I don't even know if he has any in stock. I don't know how much stuff he has in stock, but great company. And their day packs, one of my favorite backpacks, softer, even though it's got all sorts of pedigree and it's build and material and all that jazz. It's just, it, it, it's a little simpler, a little more utilitarian. I find myself loving that, the ever good sort of stuff for myself personally. But this techie thing, I know so many people in my life who I'm gonna be like, just stop searching 
get this bag. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's the one. It's all those little meshy pockets end up working really well for daily life. That little open it up and it opens by an angle. It's a, these are very unique bags. I like these things. And the travel bag is extremely capable, uber capable. So hope you liked this video. Hope it answers some of your questions if you're thinking about getting these bags. Hope that you're staying safe and sound. If you wanna support this channel, Patreon or YouTube membership, you can buy me a coffee. All those links are below. You can also just comment and share this with a friend and go, you know, you might like this bag or whatever. You could just be yourself. That's really the thing we need most in the world right now, isn't it? More people just being themselves and learning how to just take care of themselves. Just do your thing, get it going. Like, I don't know. Don't start a business because that doesn't really simplify your life. That just makes things more stressful. But some of you have to, you know, I feel like I've had to start businesses. It's just like I'm unemployable. Holler in the comments. Let me know what you think. Thanks for all your support and for your views. And uh, hopefully you get yourself into a daily carry and or a travel bag that you really feel great about because life is too short to be like just stuck with something that's bumbling around, broken ratty, gross, simplify, get rid of shit, man. Sometimes you gotta let it go. Let go and let Jesus take the wheel, y'all. <laughs> Talk to you later, bye-bye. Oh, before you go, if you wanna go deeper on these bags, I did an interview with Jacob, the co-founder of Nomadic, and Michael, the head designer sort of on, one of the designers on this pack. They've been working on these for two years. They hired Michael right out of school, like basically, like he's like out of school, hanging around for a few months, gets in touch with Nomadic. They immediately started working him on, starting on this. And so he's been working on these like right out of school. And I think he did an awesome job. The whole, obviously there's a whole team of designers there. I interviewed those guys to talk about these bags, what they're like, what their favorite features are and stuff like that. That's available for Patreon and YouTube members. Links to that below. Okay, bye-bye.